Welcome back to Phoenix Craft, everybody. This is Scotty, and today we're going to finish Run. Well, it's already pretty much done, but I'm going to show you what all we did to it. First, I made this loot color code system up here. I did copy the names from another game, but they seemed pretty standard for what they are. Let's go ahead and head on to the back of Run. And I'll show you what I got back here. I had to build a randomizing circuit just to load it. Because I have over 200 shulker boxes to load into here. And I didn't want to do it by hand. So let's go ahead and open up some of these. As you see, they're filled with different colored ones. And I wanted it to load the system randomly, so that way I don't know where the loot is. So what we're going to do is put a minecart with a hopper on this track here. It will then pull the shulker boxes out of these chests. Placing them into these two chests down here. And then from these chests, they're going to go into these droppers. And this system here will fire the droppers. And then from there, they will go into this minecart chest. And if I start this timer, it will send that minecart back and forth. So we're going to go ahead and let this run for a little bit while its stocks run. And while it's doing that, I'm going to show you the last couple rooms that were finished. And as you can see, the minecart comes back and forth across these hoppers here, and it will load them into these droppers. So where the items actually go, I don't know. But eventually, it will be completely loaded. Okay, if we head this way, we'll be coming up to our first key room. Actually, first, before we do that, let's go ahead and fly out and take a look at this from above. Because I have completely enclosed run. There we go. Let's try this again. There. So we have a complete wall around run. Hopefully that will keep all mobs out. Now let's go down to the actual key room. So the user will press the button. It'll come down, sending a signal to that dropper. That dropper will then either send a 1 or a 3. And if it's a 3, it will dispense a key. This one down here is actually a little bit different, as we have a three-way randomizer. If it pulls the redstone block this way, it will fire one pulse. And if it comes this way, it will fire two, so either giving you one or two keys. Or if it pulls it the other direction, you'll get no key. So there's the back. Now let's head down to the last room.
And the last room, we have the shulker box randomizer, where we have four different shulker boxes in there, each with different amounts. That will send out a different redstone signal here, which will activate this pulse extender for longer or shorter. And based on that, it will send up either two to six keys. And then over here on this side, we have a comparator setting up this observer, which will then fire the hoppers until it's empty. Now let's see if we can get out of here. For some odd reason, animals like to spawn in this area here. It will be nice when they fix that in the next patch. The other change I made is in this room here. We now have this redstone line here from this block going on up to these redstone lamps. So if we go inside, we have a sign. So if these lights are on, that means the timer is running. So let's go ahead and start the timer and see the lights turn on. That way, since this pulse extender only runs for a certain amount of time, it will be fair to people because you don't want them to come in while it's already running. But since it's running, let's see if we can make it across. No, we don't want that one. No. One of these should work. Let's try this one. Nope, I didn't make it. Uh, it was worth a try. I mean, eventually someone may make it to the last room. But then again, they may not. That's the whole purpose of this game, is it's completely random. Let's go ahead and check on our loader back here. I believe it should be about done. Okay, these are empty up here. Those are empty. Let's go ahead and check on a dropper. Yep, they are empty, so we should be able to turn this off. Only thing left to check is the minecart here. And the minecart is empty, so we can go ahead and delete this as well, stopping the signal. If we come up here, let's go ahead and quickly check. Yep, there is stuff in there, so run is now stocked. Let's go ahead and remove our redstone contraption and clean up this mess. There we go. I believe everything is now patched up. Let's go ahead and fill this hole back here as well. Oh, we don't want that block in there. Let's do one final check of all these entrances, since I like going into run through these. It looks like I got everything closed off. So 
So with that, run is now complete. But we need a sign. Something big. Something like this. And since you actually don't run in run, I have renamed it to walk. And shortly after I put up the sign, we had our first participant. Let's see how well they do. Looks like they're reading the instructions and they're going in. And after a couple failures, they did get a key. And they got their shulker box. Let's see what they got. It looks like they got a common one. Because there are a lot more common in there than the other ones. Some of these may only be one. But he got himself lots and lots of fish. And now to end this episode, we're going to take a look at a backup copy of the Phoenix Craft server in the RTX beta. Again, this is a backup copy of the world. It is not actually the Phoenix Craft server, but it does look fairly nice. Can we make it across? No, we can't. Wait a minute. Those lights look cool coming through the stairs like that. It's amazing how much the lighting has changed just by enabling the ray tracing. And we failed again. I guess third time's the charm. Let's go for it. Nope, it was not. Okay, maybe number four. Nope, number five. There we go. Okay, we made it get our key or do we continue on and let's try to get our key and of course nothing but this room does look fairly cool now with the lighting as well as this hallway the way the ray traces changes the lights in game just makes this look like a different game. Wait a minute. The sun is coming through the holes of the doors and lighting up the floor. That is very cool. And that is very bright. Well, since we're in creative mode, let's go ahead and get ourselves the key. We can do that. And we got our key. Let's see what the prize tube looks like. That is definitely an improvement, but it is also fairly dark down here, and we got ourselves a common. Oh, there you have it. 
walk with the ray tracing enabled due to the Bedrock RTX Beta. I would say it's definitely an improvement to the lighting. Some of the textures may need some work, but th again, this is still a beta. Well, that's interesting. So there's the new three-dimensional models of things as they're spinning. That actually looks fairly good as well. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Please leave comments and suggestions below. Thanks for watching.